right, we're back here getting ready for this PGL4 event. Here with Keith Reynolds, I'm Jay Regalbuto. And with us now we have Alex Ecklin of Vitor Shallon BJJ. How you doing, Alex? Good, and you? Very good. Now, uh, Vitor Shallon BJJ, that's in New York? Yes, sir, I'm, uh, Midtown Manhattan. Midtown Manhattan, excellent. So how long have you been training, Alex? Uh, I've been training, so I started with judo when I was a little kid. Um, but I never really took it seriously, and then I started jiu when I was uh, 17, and I'm uh, 23 now, so about six, seven years. Excellent, man. Now, how long did you do the judo for? You know, uh, it's funny that I'm doing a tournament at 130 pounds because uh, when I was a kid, <laughs> I, was, I was really fat. So uh, my, kid, my parents, they threw me into um, judo camp, and uh, I was just goofing around. I never really took it oh, seriously. Oh, man. <laughs> now, hold on. You were overweight, so they sent you to, to a judo camp. Yeah, to a judo camp. So, uh, but it was like, you know, it was like almost like an after-school program. Sure. So, uh... Yeah. Judo's no joke, man. Judo is, uh... It's an intense sport. Yeah, so I, I did that for a few years, and then um, in high school, my, my, my high school had a, a top wrestling club, but um, I thought it was kind of funny, so I did our club instead. And then, uh, towards the end of high school, I started a uh, little jiu-jitsu, but then it was too late to do wrestling. But I, I still did judo for a few years in, in high school, too. Gotcha. Yeah. Did any of the judo stick with you for uh, your jiu-jitsu career? Uh, you know, I like to pull guard. I like to play on the bottom, but I, I have there you go. takedowns that I like to I got gotcha. you. I'm a fan of the guard players. Yeah. So what, what belt rank are you? I'm a brown you, belt. You're brown belt? Excellent. Now, have you done any of the uh, uh, tournaments? You, you do the local circuit tournaments, the IBJJF tournaments? I tried it. Um, Shalin, he really uh, pushes all of us to do the IBJJF tournaments. Sure. Yeah, uh, he likes uh, the IBJJF rules, and he likes that it's run on time because he comes to corner all of us. So, like, uh, he, he likes it to be on time, you know, because he's really busy. Sure. So. Uh, they were usually on time, so that's why he pushes us to do that. So I just try to compete on almost all of them. He's one of the few Brazilians that doesn't go on that Brazilian time where they're always late. He's no, the Shalin opposite. Time, <laughs> yeah. He's always on time. That's cool. And, and uh, not to mention, uh, you know, to be able to, to train with him and have him as an instructor. I mean, he's a you know world-renowned yeah. uh, jiu-jitsu black belt. So I, how is it to be able to train with a guy like that on a, on a weekly basis? It's, it's really interesting. It's always interesting to be surrounded by somebody that uh, that is like that, and you get to see how how they made it like a lot of his character traits uh, really show that and more than jujitsu okay. so I'm, I'm pretty lucky to be able to be around that so you know I'm, I'm uh, pretty happy right now excellent now do you do, just do the grappling do you get into MMA at all um, so Shalin the second guy after Shalin in the school with him is uh, Marco Slower so he fights in Bellator and stuff so um, you know I've always watched them and, and, and always enjoyed watching him fight MMA but I, I never I've never done that yet um, maybe in the future, maybe one day. I think sure. it's fun. You know, I like everything. If I had time, I'll do every martial art. I gotcha. It is fun. It's addicting more than anything. It's, 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 it's very addicting. It's cool. Now, uh, with the, the IBGF tournaments, is it something you compete in a lot or a yeah, few just, times a year? Uh, yes, a few times a year. Just the, mostly the local ones. Sure. Um, I went to the world once, um, but mostly I do like New York Open, Boston, stuff like that. That's nice. It's nice that up in this area we get nice tournaments like that in the in the New York Northeast area. Um, now you're entering this featherweight tournament. So, uh, weight wise, is that something you walk around already uh, that lighter? You got to. Is it something you have to do a sh small weight cut for? Or? No, I'm pretty lucky. I'm pretty young right now, so my metabolism is pretty fast. <laughs> so I can I can literally lose 10 pounds like overnight. You know, I can go up and down really quickly. Um, I walk around a little bit heavier than that, um, but uh, 130 shouldn't be a problem for me. Gotcha. Now again, rules are a little different. Three five minute rounds, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, three three minute rounds. Yeah. So. Three minutes. I was just uh, talking almost with everybody about it. It's a, it's a very short period of time. You're gonna think you tailor your tailor your uh, training to meet that three minutes, or uh... yeah. To be honest, you know, um, I'm a fan of quick fights. Uh, when I go to the tournaments, you know, I cut weight because I don't want to have like five fights. You know, I have a couple of teammates. They have a lot of fights and they love that, but I like to have one or two fights and I'm happy with that. So. Um, this is this sounds like a, you know three minutes and then you know I I gotta look over the rules again but it, so it's three minutes and then you rest one minute well, three minutes rest a minute three minutes rest a minute three minutes and it's not a point system too it's a judge's score it's okay. a ten plus must so uh, the points points game really doesn't mean anything although control is huge okay. you know c you know being able to control your opponent's huge in this so you you say you're a, a guard player any any particular sweeps or any particular guards you play. 
Yeah, my, my favorite sweep is called the G-Roll. Uh-huh. Um, G-Roll. I don't think I, I teach, and I don't think I've ever heard of that. Is that... It's, it's, it's a top-secret sweep. There you go. That, uh, we, only, we only have it out here in New York. <laughs> so, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, uh, you know, I've, I, people that, that have seen me compete, I try to do it quite a lot. And uh, which, with uh, Shaolin's and Laurel's guidance, um, I refined the sweep over the years. So um, I think I'm going to have some cool new things for, uh, from Very it. cool. Now, is this a sweep that you developed yourself? Uh, yes. Very cool. Very cool. Not many people can say that. Inventing a move in jiu-jitsu is very, very difficult. Because <laughs> you think you did, and then they're like, oh, no, that's called the... <laughs> that's very cool, man. So... Um, Again, why don't you uh, just give a plug to where you're training at, what you got going on? Yeah, so I train with uh, Vitor Shaolin and Marcos Loro at Vitor Shaolin Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Academy. We're located on 788th Avenue, uh, room number 302. And uh, I can say that very well because I answer the phones when you call. So, um, yeah, you should, get, you should come to train with us. Um, everybody's really cool, laid back. Shalom doesn't really care about affiliations. Everybody's always welcome to train. Um, we're affiliated with a lot of different schools, and uh, we have a, a lot of training partners from all, you know that come from all over. A lot of visitors from Italy, from other countries. So it's really cool. So everybody's welcome to come. Yeah, with a name like Vitor at you know, Shalom, I'm sure uh, you know most of them, most people would love to be able to, to train there, train with him, train with you guys. Now, do you work at the school too? Yeah, so Obviously. I graduated with a finance degree um, from Brooklyn College about a year ago. But then when I graduated, I was like, uh, I was like a one try white belt in finance you know I wasn't really good. <laughs> I didn't really know anything so I was like oh you know I just I might as well just do what I like so I, I got really lucky that I was able to, to start working at the school, so I've been doing that ever since, um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Doing some teaching up there as well? Yes, yeah, so I do like a little bit of everything. Very cool, very cool. All right, Alex, man, I really appreciate it. Look forward to this, uh, this featherweight tournament coming up, man. Thank you so much. See you guys next month. Sounds good.